message by the elders. Was little, I thought I would be a big comedian on late night TV. But now I'm 32, and as you can see, I'm not. Oh well, it sucks to be me. It sucks to be me. It sucks to be broke and unemployed and turning 33. It sucks to be me. Well, you think your life sucks? I think so. Your problems aren't so bad. Basically, what we're going to be doing is designing your own puppet for one of the characters that I'm going to give to you, and then we're going to do the show. Okay? So, what are we going to do today? Well, today, we're going to do several things. First of all, we're going to define what is puppets, and we're going to talk a little bit about the historical context and when the puppets started to be in the theater. Uh, then I'm going to show you several different uh, types of puppets. Um, I'm going to give you a little demo of my friends right here, my puppets. Um, I'm going to show you very few examples of puppets in 
theater and TV commercials we already did. I'm going to do a little exercise, and then I'm going to demo how to do one of the puppets. Which today we're going to start with spoon puppets, and you're going to get to do one. Uh, then you're going to do your own puppets, and then we're going to present it to the class. Okay? That's what we're going to do today. So what is a puppet? According to the dictionary Webster, a puppet is a small cave figure of a person or an animal, usually with clothing, and has a hollow head which fits over and is moved by the hand of the person. I don't like that definition, so I kept looking. And Wikipedia, which probably you already looked in your iPhone for the uh, <laughs> definition of Wikipedia, <laughs> says that is an inanimate object or representational figure that is animated or manipulated by a person. And that's actually a better definition. So this is the one that we're going to stick by. Okay? So according to Batchelor, um, she has a, a paper on the historical uh, historical survey of puppets. Uh, puppets started all the way back to Greek theater. And uh, her theory is that it was um, an evolution of the theater masks. Uh, so basically, uh, the, the, the people that were designing the masks decided to go a little bit higher and up hands, and then the, the, the puppets came to be. Um, she says that there's some evidence that it started b even before that with, with the, Egypt the Egyptians, but there no, they don't have um, a clear uh, understanding of what the method was. Um, and she uh, classifies, she says that the, the current culture says that puppets are second rate uh, art, and she says that this is the fault of the Romans because uh, when the, the Romans invaded Greece, they were like, puppets? I don't think so. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so she's a little bit about that. But that's kind of a little historical context of where the, the, when the puppets started. So basically, they've been around pretty much when, when theater started. So this is part of, of one of the, of the, of the, of the tools that uh, the people that were doing theater back then had. And we should have it too. Um, so I'm going to show you um, some types of puppets. This is, this is not all the types of puppets. I'm just giving you the, the basics of it. So um, you, when you see a puppet, you can recognize that at least some of the, the characteristics. Um, one of the most simple ones is called finger puppets. And it's just because you put it in your finger, and then you go like this. And that's your finger puppet. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that we're going to do today is spoon puppet. And they're made with spoons. Spoons. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> um, there's, there is one, um, there's one called shadow puppet. And it's believed that they started in China. And basically what we do is we, we draw the silhouette of the, of the puppet. And then with lighting, we, what, what we use is the shadow of the puppet. So the puppet itself doesn't do the performance, it's the shadow, which is really interesting. But it's called shadow puppet. <laughs> uh, we have the rod puppets, which usually get confused with stick puppets. The rod puppets are the ones that we have a rod attached to their extremities in order to give them movement. And a stick puppet is just a stick with a figure. So it doesn't really have movement, it's just the, the, the template of, of the figure that we're, we're going to present. Then we have the sock puppet, which is pretty much self-explanatory, and you probably done one of them when you were in grade school, which is basically a sock, and then uh, we do the face and the eyes, and that's a sock puppet. Okay? We have the glove puppet, which doesn't have women in the, in the, in the mouth, but we have, we can move the hands and the head. So it's a glove because um, it looks like a glove. And I have one that I'm going to show you. Then we have the string puppets, which are also called marionettes, which are one of the most, sorry, one of the most, one of the most 
um, complicated one because you actually need to study how to move each string and usually you can do a string in the head, in the, in the hands, the legs and then you, you can make a move with, with, uh, with the strings. So it's called string puppet or marionettes. Some people call puppets overall marionettes but usually string puppets are the ones that are marionettes. So if somebody's calling a glove puppet marionette, you're going to be like, you know, that's a glove puppet. Marionette is the one with the strings. Okay? <laughs> Okay, let's do some puppets. What is this? Stick puppets. Stick puppets, very good. And this was done very, very, very simply. It's just a template of a cat. This is um, paper, a paper plate, and then a fork in the back with glue. We have a puppet. And I have several of these. I have a blue dog. <coughs> A red whale, my favorite. <laughs> and you can come here and see it in, uh, at the end of the class. Um, I have a spoon puppet, which we're, we're, you guys are going to do. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing about this one is that you need to, to give it a costume, because if you don't, it's not good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? What kind of puppet is this one? Rod. Are you sure? What, are, what, what do we do with the rods if it's a rod puppet? Oh, oh it's attached to the hand. It's a stick puppet. It's a stick puppet. It's a stick puppet. But it's a little more advanced because it has some dimension to it. Mm -hmm. So, there's a stick. What about this one? No. <laughs> She was a victim of over-design. <laughs> <laughs> and what about this one? Sock. 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 It's a sock. Very good. Good job, guys. Okay. So no, some of non examples of, of, of puppets are a costume. Um, a costume, even though it can have some movement and you can attach a string to it, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that it's uh, a puppet. It's just a costume that has uh, some additional element to it. Uh, a prosthetic, like we see here, Shrek, has a prosthetic nose that is not a puppet. It's part of this makeup, but uh, he's an animated being. He's a person. He's not a puppet. Even though some people call some other people puppets, but they're wrong because it cannot be because it's an animated object. <laughs> and a prop, something that you handle, but it, you're not giving it life to it, it's not a puppet either. Okay, are we clear on that? Any questions? Okay. So we're going to do a little exercise. Um, we have the criterion for what, what a puppet is, which is an animated object animated by a person, and I'm going to show you several pictures and you're going to tell me if it's a puppet or not. Okay? Puppet. Puppet. Puppet, yes. Everybody agrees? Well, okay. Muppet. 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 <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job, everybody. Okay. I just found out that his name is Kermit in English, in, in Spanish it's Rene. <laughs> Very similar, huh? <laughs> what about Lassie the dog? No. Not a puppet. Not a puppet, why? It's not an animal. It's animated. It's, it's an animate object. An animate object. Why? Why? Yeah. What about Barney? No. Costume. Costume. Not a puppet. Good job, everybody. Good job. Okay. So we already saw a clip of Avenue Q, which one of the most distinct aspects of it is that there are puppets in the show. Uh, in the Puerto Rican TV, there's a, the, the person that makes the most money in Puerto Rican TV is a guy that his, his character is a puppet. And if we have time, we're going to see a video at the end. And he handhelds the mouth, 
he uses his actual hand as his actual hand. And then the rest of it is like a dress and then the leg, his legs. So it's, he uses kind of his body, but it's still a puppet because uh, it's not his face and it's not a costume. And he has a million dollar contract. In the <laughs> And his first puppet was the one that we're gonna do today, a spoon. So, <laughs> um, so what do you need to do when you are doing your puppets? You need to be patient. You need to pay attention to details, because just remember, your puppet is a character in your show. So you need to pay attention to everything, because if you rush into it, then people are gonna notice that that's not a complete character. Remember that it has makeup, it has costumes, it has a mood. Even though um, some puppets cannot change their expression, you need to pick one expression that is gonna stick to it to the show and it represents that character. So you need to be very, very, very patient. Avoid the pre because there's no really art in that. You just put it together and that's it. Do your own, your own puppet. It, People know that you did your puppet and it's specific for your show. They're going to notice and they're going to appreciate it more. Okay? And, and I'm, I'm giving you some ideas of stuff that you can do, but anything can be a puppet. You can turn anything into a puppet. Reuse materials, take ideas from here and there, and you're going to be this fine. Okay. So today we're going to do a spoon puppet, and I'm going to show you the steps to do a spoon puppet. So first of all, you need to do the eyes, because the, the, the spoon, the, 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 this piece itself, is the face. So you do the eyes, the mouth. You do the nose, which is optional. Some puppets don't have nose, but okay. if you want to put a nose, you can. Hair or hat, and or hat, you can do both. The costume, don't leave the puppet naked. And then remember that you need to leave a little room for it to be handled. Any questions? Sherry, do you have a question? I feel I'm being obstinate a little bit. What if I want the puppet to be on the other side of this foot? You can. Okay. I've seen it. I've seen it with forks. This is the most standard way. But I've uh, I had a student that wanted to do a fork uh, uh, puppet, and it worked just fine. And if you want to do it on the other side, go ahead. <laughs> You're gonna have time to do it today. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make puppets. But at the end, you have the option to redo one of your puppets for the final show, or use one that you already worked. So if it didn't work for you, this is just a trial and error. Okay. okay? You will be just fine. Any other questions? Okay. I'm going to show you just the steps very, very, very quickly. Uh, I have some of the parts already made, very rational way. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and then I'm going to show you. So we have the spoon, and then first we're going to do the eyes. And I have some wiggly eyes, um, but you can use um, any of the materials that you want, be creative, but. The wiggly eyes are very standard for, for puppets, but you can use, you don't have to use them. So I'm gonna use the, the wiggly eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Okay. So it already has some some, some character to it, you, you see? It's already almost a face there. So I'm gonna draw the mouth, but you can use some felt, use some, some, some fabric. What it looks like. Mm -hmm. The first bedding you see. Mm -hmm. Bape, job. Okay, now I have a little costume. I'm gonna put it here. It's a short costume.
and I have a little ball. <laughs> and I did read this really fast, but um, you guys take your time um, and work on it. Uh, look for the stuff, okay? Okay, so let's make a puppet. I have three stations because um, I want everybody to have glue and scissors um, close by. But so scissors, scissors, scissors. Those are the three stations. So you can reach to your scissors and glue really fast. And these are the, all the other supplies, okay? Uh, first of all, I'm going to give you one of the characters from Bolshek, and you're going to work on one of the characters from Bolshek. Just pick one. So if you have any questions about the character, even though you should have read the play, just ask me, and I'll, I'll let you know really fast. Benito? Samples, you can remember the, the supplies.
flow and see what I end up with. <laughs> I can tell you, this has never been my strong suit. Crafts. Is this going to be a draw? Yeah. It's a good choice. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I was going to make a mustache at the slide. Yeah, you could eat one like a rabbit. If you do them that way. Yeah, they will. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Thanks. Good job. Thanks.
Three more minutes? Yeah. Okay. okay. Scissors. Everybody's doing a great job. Okay, let's take this last minute to finish up. I'm present. Yes? One more minute. Remember that you're going to have time to rework these at the end of the week. So this is just so you can get your creative juices flowing. Seats. Sorry. Let's present. <laughs> a lot of attention to the details, so good job. Snaps for Benito. <laughs> Yay! Shari? <laughs> okay, I had a point check, and since he's poor, he's very raggedy, and he doesn't have money to 
So he has a, just a piece of rope for a belt. Oh, I saw that. And I, I made his eyes off center because he's going mad, and so I wanted to give that sense of being mad with his eyes. And having red hair also, for some reason, I just felt she had red hair. Those are crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent choice. Snaps for Sherry. Good job. Yay. Sherry? And? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I Who's your character? The girl. The girl. The one who tells uh, that. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And so, so I see that you work on the hair a I lot. Did. She has like two, what is it two called? Two little ribbons. Okay. And I would have put ribbons on her dress, but you okay. rushed me. You, you can still work on that. <laughs> okay. Good job. Thank Excellent. You. Yay. Yay. Snaps are showing. Yay. Okay. Hannah? Okay, so I was a policeman. <laughs> <laughs> he has a hat coming there. Like the eyes. She, has the, she has buttons. Uh -huh. She has the star. So I promise the sheriff. Nice details. Snaps for you. Uh, Amanda? <laughs> I had the old man, the one who helped boy check in Marie. <laughs> he looked That's a little right. strange while he was strange in the place. <laughs> She has facial hair. Which is oh, really he's nice. naked. He's naked. <laughs> which you're gonna work on it. <laughs> Good job. And the hair, and he has white white hair too. So that that little nice detail gives away that he's an old man. Well, I like that that you use the other side of the spoon. Yeah. yeah. And she did use the other side of the spoon. Nice job. Thank you. Chuck. Snap to Amanda. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had Marie, the prostitute. <laughs> With her over, she wants an earring. She has, she has a slit. Like in the story, one earring. She has a slit in her dress too. The other red dress. She has her hair, and the eyes are very detailed too. If you can notice. She has Liza Minnelli eyes. Uh -huh. I really like that you put the dress like right where the spoon curves out. Yeah. She has a little dress. <laughs> like, like hello. <laughs> <laughs> Her earrings just won't stay on. Good choices. Good choices. <laughs> Snaps are tough. John? Here we go. It's the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little stethoscope. <laughs> <laughs> and a maniacal mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and a lab coat. That's really good. And he works with some dimensionality. Do you guys notice that his code is actually 3D? Uh-huh. He'll walk the platform for you. That's an excellent choice. <laughs> it's not for John. <laughs> yeah, he did. Okay. No. Okay, so what we're going to do is you guys are going to find some objects at your house. Don't buy anything, but are you having your house and try to make it into a puppet. You don't have to build it, just bring it, home, bring it here tomorrow, and then you're going to discuss with how you can make that object work for a puppet. So that's going to be your fun homework. You don't have to spend that much time on it. You just go look for it and then get an idea of that's why I'm going to bring it, and bring it here, okay? So don't go and buy anything. And do not, do not come with a spoon because we already did that. Don't, don't use any of the materials that we already <laughs> used here, okay? So today we learn how to uh, do a spoon puppet, and tomorrow we're going to learn how to do the glove puppet and you don't have to worry about the materials because I'm going to provide it to you and I'm really looking forward for you coming what you can come up with so good job everybody see you tomorrow how do you think he did on time well,